Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second part in my Bridgeport overhaul series of videos. Today, I'll be elaborating on something which I left out of the first part of the video, which is the glass scale and digital readout system installed in the mill. So, first things first, what are glass scales and what is a digital readout? Starting with the digital readout, a DRO converts a signal provided to it, typically in the form of two square waves, one 90 degree opposed from the other, into a numeric value that can be read by the operator when an axis is moved. Most digital readouts have functions other than just pure displaying of numbers that they can also perform. Nearly all can convert between inches and metric, depending on scale type, re-zero axes, and do basic math with the keypad and other functions. This particular unit is a 1980 Analum Mini Wizard, which came with the mill when I purchased it. So far, I haven't had any issues with the DRO itself, and I've only had to lightly clean everything, and it works great. The glass scales, on the other hand, I have had to fiddle around with a little bit. The x-axis glass scale is original and came with the digital readout and the mill, while the y-axis glass scale was just purchased recently. But before I get into why I had to replace it, a little bit of background on how glass scales work. Glass scales essentially consist of two separate parts, the reader head and the scale itself. Looking at the scale first, the outside is a piece of extruded aluminum best contoured to secure the glass and mount it to the machine, while the bottom of it has notches for rubber. The rubber helps to keep chips and debris off of the glass while still parting to allow the reader head to move up and down while the machine is traveling. After the rubber has been removed from its tracks in the aluminum extrusion, the glass can be seen more clearly. While it may look transparent at first, there are actually vapor deposited chrome markings on this surface of the glass. This particular model, an Accurite AR5, has over 1,000 markings per inch that the reader head picks up on. A picture from their brochure can be seen on screen now. The other part of the glass scale, the reader head, slides up and down the glass inside the aluminum extrusion. These Teflon pads you see help locate it accurately and slide freely along the glass. On the bottom, there's a mirror, and on the top, there are lights and light sensors, which bounce light off of the mirror or off of the chrome on the glass to determine its position along the scale. It outputs these positions via two square waves to the digital readout for interpretation. As I said in the previous video, when I purchased the machine, the y-axis scale was not in working condition. And judging by the pictures, you too can see why. Both the X and Y axis were filthy on the outside, but the Y axis in particular had a lot of oil deposited on the glass. Cleaning the scales was a very lengthy and time-consuming process. The outside was pretty straightforward. A little bit of soap and water, simple green, and some scotch right at the end, and they were back to looking relatively clean. The inside, however, required a much more delicate process. Because we couldn't touch the glass while cleaning it, it had to be flushed with soap and water multiple times to get most of the contaminants off of it. After that, alcohol pads were gently wiped along the glass, being careful not to scratch any debris into it. However, after reinstalling both scales back onto the machine, the Y-axis still had problems. As I found out while machining a new part for Razor's Edge, the Y-axis would sometimes misreport its position, not something you want from something you rely upon so often. So, the decision was made to finally purchase a new Y-axis scale from ZS Systems. This new scale is a much more modern design than the old AR5. It is significantly thinner, more compact, and much more resistant to dirt and debris getting on the glass because of two layers of rubber underneath the scale. It also comes with an external guard to help prevent things being dropped on it. Coming in at only $350, it is also pretty good price-wise. To mount the scale, a couple of custom brackets were welded together and machined based off of dimensions provided by the scale manufacturer. These brackets were then trammed in to be parallel with the y-axis of travel, so that the measurements would be consistent front to back. While probably not the prettiest contraption ever, this setup hasn't caused me any issues and I've been very happy with the scale's performance so far. To wrap things up, I couldn't be happier with the current DRO setup in the mill right now. I do plan to convert this to CNC in the future, and I'd like to keep the digital readout either just for manual machining or optimally plug it into the CNC for a sort of double closed loop. Whether I can do that remains to be seen, but 
In the meantime, take care. Thanks for watching.